A properly installed vertical turbine pump station can be trouble-free for many years. Here are the steps to install a PPS vertical turbine pump station correctly. Prior to scheduling the installation, please be sure that the wet well site is fully complete and ready. Upon arrival, clean off the concrete pad by sweeping away any dirt, debris, or rocks. Also, check inside the wet well to be sure there is no excess debris that could clog the pump. Prepare the pump station for lifting by connecting hoisting chains and hooks to the skid. Prior to lifting the station in place, carefully measure the station pad to identify and plot the exact placement for the station according to site plans. Lift the station from the truck bed and lower it into position according to site plans. After checking for alignment, set the pump station onto its final resting place on the concrete pad. To prevent damage when unloading the pumps from the truck bed, it is best to lift them horizontally to the ground prior to lifting them vertically from the specific lifting point located at the top of the pump head. Once the pump is safely on the ground, check the strainer basket for any damage and then connect the pump head to the crane using the proper safety equipment. Slowly lift the pump vertically from the ground, taking extra care not to damage any of the wiring or external components. Prior to inserting the pump, be sure to clear the area of any loose parts or wiring. If necessary, loosen and move any pipe elements or connectors to prevent damage or obstruction while lowering the pumps into place. Once the pump is maneuvered into the correct position, lower and drop it through the proper location in the station base. Once properly set, carefully prepare the pipe connections with lubricant and place the seals in the correct place. Then position, attach, and bolt the coupler connections throughout. Be sure to check and tighten all internal bolts to ensure you have the secure seal required for the pressurized operation of the system. Then, repeat this process for each of the vertical turbine pumps in the station. The pump station in this video includes three vertical turbine motors. Prior to lifting the motors into place, securely bolt all of the pump heads to the station base and then prep the motor mount surfaces with graphite anti-seize compound to allow for easy and secure connection. Check and clean the motor shaft threads, prep with anti-seize compound and secure a coupler on each of the motor shafts. PPS will connect the head shaft to the pump shaft and adjust the clutch during the certified start-up process. Using the proper safety equipment, carefully connect the hoist to the two lift points located on the sides of the motor and lift it from the truck bed and into place on the pump head taking extra care not to damage any external components. Be sure to position each motor according to site plans to facilitate the electrical connections. Then repeat this process for each of the vertical turbine motors in the station. At this time, you will want to confirm the motor electrical boxes are in the correct position and then securely tighten all motors to the pump heads using the bolts provided according to site plans. Be sure to double check and tighten all pump head and motor mount bolts before proceeding to the next step. Now it's time to connect the pump motor leads to the control panel according to the system schematic located on the inside of the control panel door. Repeat this process for all the vertical turbine motors in the station. Locate the low water safety float and prep the end of the wiring for connection. Identify the correct wiring junction box and thread the sensor cable through the skid base cover cap of the low water safety float component. Determine the correct sensor depth and not the cable to maintain that depth from the drop point of the sensor. 
drop the low water safety float through the base of the skid, reinstall the cover cap, and then replace the junction box cover. GPS will connect the low water safety float electrical during the certified startup of the system. Once all wiring and piping have been properly connected and the pump station is ready to start, notify PPS and we will schedule the certified startup and calibration of the pump station. Thank you for watching our vertical turbine pump station installation training video. Our goal is to provide you with clear and demonstrated instructions to ensure your vertical turbine pump station installation is done correctly and that your system will operate at peak performance for many years to come. For further assistance, please contact PPS Customer Service at 208-323-5300. Precision Pumping Systems, turning water into communities one pump station at a time.